Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, this morning I'm going to take the Swan Voyager out for a flight. It used to be in beta testing. Now they've updated the app, so the app is a bit better. And uh, some of the features on this here Swan have been updated. So this is the maiden flight. We're going to take it out right now. I'm going to put the battery in. So to put the battery in, just pull off this hatch, connect the battery here. You'll hear everything start up and uh, put your battery in. This is all magnetic, so it fits over top nicely and it should go on nice and tight. Okay, so we have a remote here and it's gonna connect to this and there is a screen record on here. I've turned it on, hopefully it works and all will be well. So the first thing I need to make sure is that I have at least nine satellites. Within seconds, it's already picked up six. So it says on my screen, it's got nine satellites. It's ready to take off. I'm just gonna check the compass and everything else to make sure that's good. Here we go, going up for the very first time. I've got 18 satellites. You have to take it up quickly or else it's gonna turn off the motor, so I'll go up. I do have the record on. Hold it there for a bit, see if GPS is working. GPS seems to be fine. So we'll take it up now and take it for a flight. Going way up there. Okay, so if I look at my display, hopefully it's recording the screen record. I'll just hold it here so you can see it. I can see myself going up and the thing I wanna check on the most is the height. Height says 39, so we're at 40 meters. I wanna get it pretty high, 45 meters. So let me look away up. It's a way up there, 45 meters. So there's a button up here. I don't know if I can do both at the same time. I'm gonna press this while looking up. There we go, airplane mode. There she goes. So it should be recording video at 4K going into the sun. And I'll bring it around us again. Here we go. It's a beautiful morning for flying. I'm just keeping it doing level turns here. I'll get it going straight a bit. I'm gonna look down at that water. There we are. Look down, going over the water. There we are. And then look back up and uh, let's turn it and bring it back to us. Now the cool thing on here with the camera that I really do like is, okay, so let me get out of the sun because that sun ruins everything. It does look pretty cool though. Okay, so I'm gonna fly back towards us. There's the parking lot. I'll look down a little bit and there we are. I'm going over the school, but watch this. I can look to the right, back at the sun. There's my wing. <laughs> it hasn't fallen off. And uh, there's, there should be another wing over there. There it is. I see the tip. All right. And there's a little switch on here. If I push this, it will go bunk, back to center so that I know where I am. Now, the drone is away over there over the forest behind me. So I'm just going to turn it this way. I'm going to go into, well, I'll go towards this way. The villagers, as I call them. And uh, we'll come back this way. Here we go. So you can see I'm away over in that field out there. I'm just going to bring the camera down a bit. There we are. So if I haven't mentioned it already, you can record in 4K, 2K, and 1080p. For each of those settings, you will be able to increase the frames per second. So in 4K, I'll show you here. I don't know if it lets me do it while it's flying. No, it says during recording, you can't do it. So it's flying over us, and I'll look up again. There it is right there. It's very quiet. Most people wouldn't even notice it's around. So it maintains speed. I can increase the speed or decrease the speed. It's just a one joystick uh, you know, steering mechanism. So look at that, a little bit to the right. There we go. You don't have to use both joysticks. It just keeps on going in the direction you point it. If I want to go down, just like an airplane, I believe it, this would put the nose down. That should reduce height. Let me just check here. Height is staying at 52, so, oh, 47. There we go. So I get down a little bit. This one over here on the left, I'm just turning here. This one on the left should be my speed. So I'm gonna look at the bottom, check the speed. It says uh, speed, where is my meters per second? Meters per second, I'm at 14.7. I'm gonna crank it, let's see what happens. 20, 24, 25, 26, Woo she's going, oh, she's coming down to the ground too. Here, it's coming out of someplace, where is it? There it is. <laughs> okay, so you can crank up the speed apparently. Whenever I take a swan out to a park or something, you get a lot of spectators. So there's some spectators over there checking it out. It's a pretty cool little device. A lot of fun too. And of course you can take photos. So watch this, I'm going to, the sun's there. So I'm gonna put the sun to the back, back of us. There's that water again. I'm gonna turn off the record. I'm gonna put it on photo mode. There it is, it's on camera, it's switching. And now I could shoot a picture. There you go. I'm taking a series of photos. The photos are actually quite decent down here. I'm going to bring the gimbal uh, looking down and then I'll take another one and another one. So if you were flying over something, searching for something, you could uh, do that, take photos. Okay, I'm going to switch back the video and video's back on. 
bring the camera back up so I don't fly into something. Range on this is supposed to be eight kilometers. Uh, I don't know if everybody gets them, but they did give me extra antennas. These are the basic antennas I have on here. You can get some high efficiency antennas like for longer range that they did send me. I didn't put them on because I'm not flying this long range. Uh, they're patch antennas more or less. So in other words, you point this directly at where your swan is and uh, it you can go super far. All right, there's a car down there. So I'm just gonna go over it. A little pickup truck down there. Go to the side of it. And then I'm going to bring it back. So on here, you also have a return to home right here. So watch this. I'm going to bring it over us and I'm going to see if it lands someplace nearby. So you bring it as close as you can to where you are. And this way I can look at it. Where is it? So over here, return to home. I'm going to hit it now. So if it stopped over there or over there or someplace else, it should, as it's coming down, it will find its position back to where it took off from. So it will start gliding to the right or the left uh, quite a distance until it gets back to where it took off from. So you can watch it here coming down. You can take control of it as it comes down. I'll just make sure there's nothing below it. Oh, I lost my cover. <laughs> the battery cover went flying off. Well, that's gone. That's gone. Here, let me walk over to this. See the battery cover? <laughs> Good thing I have another one at home. All right, it's going down. So that's pretty good. It took off, this camera was here and it took off right behind it and it landed right there. So that's pretty awesome. Flight number one went perfect. So now we're gonna do flight number two. I'm gonna have Joe here take it for a flight and I'm gonna chase it with a DJI FPV drone to get some footage. Here we go. Video, yeah, transition so, and return to home. That's right. So the only two you're gonna use is yeah. change into airplane mode yeah. and return to home. Okay, I'm gonna follow you up so you can start at any time. Excellent. Okay, I'm coming straight down. There we go. Well done, Joe. All right, it's day two and I'm back with the Swan Voyager and I'm going to show you a few things uh, that I didn't show you in the first portion of this video. First off, I did mention that you can get separate antennas for this. 
The company HEQ sent me these antennas. Where do I have them down here? These are patch antennas. So they slip on as follows. Just unscrew the antenna and then screw on the patch antenna. It's pretty cold out here, so my fingers are freezing. So when you put two of these patch antennas on, patch antennas are designed to aim right at your device. In other words, the Swan Voyager. And it should capture the signal better than these long slender antennas. So you should get a bit more range. As long as you have line of sight, you can point at it. Another item they sent me is these experimental wings. So so if you go and look at the Swan Voyager back there, it's got curved wings on it and it looks pretty cool with the curved wings, uh, but they came up with these flat straight wings and I'm not really sure why they are like beta, like the test out and stuff. I haven't really flown it with these yet. Uh, I might try it, but uh, I don't know what the difference would be, honestly. Another thing HEQ sent me to test out are these Skyzone Cobra goggles. And what they are is just your normal set of FPV goggles. They run off an 18650 battery. One was included with mine, so I don't know if they're all included. There's a menu system in it, high resolution screen, and you connect these with the included HDMI. They send you a nice HDMI to the controller down here. Oh, my hands are so cold to the controller and then you can fly it wearing the goggles and it's like FPV so you'll get a high res view I'll show you what the image looks like quickly all right so on your controller right here on the top you have your HDMI cable and it plugs in the top then you take the other end of the HDMI and it says right here HDMI in on the bottom and you plug it in here you power these on and you make sure you go in the menu system and you select HDMI in there we go I got it to focus a little bit and there's the map you can see Africa and all the other continents that are showing on the screen down here so yeah you would fly fpv using these babies now another thing i noticed was yesterday when i was recording my screen recorder crapped out it didn't work so there is a screen recorder on here it's just an app and it's right over here you probably can't see it but i'm going to turn it on again the reason it crapped out is because there's only so much memory in here and I didn't have an external micro SD, but I've put one in so that if it fills up, it doesn't die on us. So I'm just gonna show you the interface really quick. Okay, turn on screen recorder, yes. So it's recording now. And I'm gonna go back over to our HEQ app over here. Right now, hopefully this is working. I just wanna show you, if I go into FPV view, I'm gonna tap down here. And now I see the full image. I can move the camera around. So I can look down at the ground, I can look up. It's pointing right now at the bright sun that's in the sky behind all the clouds, so it's kind of messy, but I can turn it side to side. See here, look over to that direction or look over the other direction. You might see the guys out flying over there. But the biggest thing I wanted to show you on here is the whole interface. So you see we have the camera to record and you can take photos or video. And these are the settings. If you go to 2.7K or 1080p, I believe you can change it to 60 FPS let me see yeah you can so I see the 60 right there 30 or 60 but in 4k you can only do 30 there are no other camera settings but I asked the company because I when I was flying the other day I found it was too overexposed so they are going to add exposure settings and all sorts of stuff for the video and the photo and let me just show you if I go here to photo on my screen hit the and then hit the settings you can see these are the different resolutions for photos right there and over on the top right you have your settings menu and that's where you can set your altitude how far away it is uh, you know where home point is all the other good things the normal stuff that you have i'm scrolling through them here you also have your controller this controller i'm in mode two it's got advanced settings you can set up and then go back into general and you can see i'm on the latest software as of today uh, if you're buying this, you might have a newer software, but my version is 1.0.2 right at the top. So let me see a few other things to tell you. I have to go on my phone because I sent the company an email yesterday and I asked them a few questions, things I noticed in my first flight. So I asked them about all the settings for the cameras and they said, yes, they're going to add that as well as formatting function uh, for your micro SD card and also the ability to, after you take a photo or some video, to watch it back on your uh, item right away right now you can't do that i have to take the card and then put it in a computer to go and check out my videos or photos also i mentioned that there's a lot of vibration in the image on my unit i have a beta unit so i've got vibration in it i asked if the newer ones that people buy will not have that vibration they say some they're finding have vibrations others don't it's because of the little uh, vibration dampening that's underneath and they're working on that to fix it so newer ones will have no jello in the image but the older ones like I have have the jello in the image uh, so they're working on that and I also mentioned that these buttons here for your photo and video 
They don't work with the new app. You can press them all you want, nothing happens. You have to touch on screen. And they said, yes, they'll fix that in future iterations, but right now it doesn't work. So on my screen, I've got the HEQ Fly app right there that you use. And then there's another one over here, Ground Control. They've sent me information on how to get Ground Control to work and all that good stuff. Ground Control, from what I understand, is supposed to be an app you use to set up your waypoints. I could be wrong, but I believe that's what it is. So you can set it up and say, I wanna fly, I don't know, 10 miles out or something like that. You punch all your waypoints in and it goes and does its thing. Okay, my heads are freezing out here and the little swan back there i've got just a battery attached to do some of this testing but uh, it's a dull morning i'll take it for one more flight here we go there you go grab your goggles <laughs> it's <laughs> Joe's tried on the goggles. You're on. You're on video, Joe. By the way, Joe's oh. tried on the, <laughs> the goggles. Yeah, yeah. 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 Slapping the hell out of the product here. So, uh, what's the image like, Joe? It's very nice, actually. It's good. Okay. Yeah. So you could use some uh, some here. some focus. Here, I'll give you that. So Joe should be seeing clear. this image now. I Look what am. Is. Yeah. So you got that. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let you keep those on then, and I'll just go fly this and You're see what happens. fly while I watch? Yeah. All right, you fly. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take off. I put on my uh, GoPro hat. So Joe's over here, and I'm going to turn around and face this way so we can see our little guy. So down and in to start this up, and uh, straight up. Here we go. Yeehaw. There go the leaves. There she goes. Going way up. I'm going to turn it into airplane mode just look up and do the same time there we go oh yeah you can even see on the goggles it shows you the uh, shows you various pitch angles too oh cool see i never look at that because i'm yeah. always looking at the no, flying I know plane you're banking left now because the image is about a 45 degree angle the lower right one cool and the top one is showing your x and your y axis all right i'll bring it back over us coming straight over and uh, now that I have the camera, I'm going to look down a little bit. There we go. Nice. So there we can see us. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Going over all the cars. Go over the morning water. Beautiful. Yeah, I would say your image probably looks better than my image. Mine looks a little washed out. Yours looks better? Uh, it does look a little washed out, a little whitish. Yeah. Right. Now, you might be able to fix that with white balance. I don't know, but it is washed out just like yours. But because you're on a face mask, you're, you're blocking a little more light. So it's uh, if the sun was out, I'd say you'd be benefited more by the goggles. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. You get more contrast then. Yeah. Holy crap, look at all the buses. Yeah, really. Now I can't see on the screen unless you see it, Joe. I don't see anything that shows my connection. Um, let's see at the top, fixed wing, position mode, device unlocked, 21 satellites, voltage. So I'm about 480 meters away. Yeah. And now we're going with the trees back there. I'm gonna to try to fly behind these trees here. Going this way. Now the image is, is very clear. No break up, no, no nothing, just solid image. Yeah, I'm not even aiming at, normally these antennas, I would aim them at the uh, the item I'm flying, but I'm not really, but uh, yeah, so it's good there. Oh, I see it far away over there. It's just a dot in the sky. All right, yeah, I'm going to bring it. 380 meters away. Yeah. I'm going to bring it back to us. Over a thousand feet. Nice slow turns. Now I can go faster, so let me try this. So right now, I tried this yesterday. It gives two speeds, airspeed and ground speed. I guess one is right okay, by the so speedo and one is... I'm gonna crank, right I'm gonna crank the left joystick forward, see what happens. Yeah. Looks like I'm diving a bit. No, I'm going faster too. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you're up, ground speed's up to 27.8. Yeah, so we're cruising now, super fast. You're, it's funny, your airspeed is off by about four kilometers from your ground speed. Hmm. The pedo tube reading is, is slightly off. Ah, could be that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and also for height, I'm gonna try to bring it down. I'm gonna nose it, it down and see what happens. Yeah, Duck. we're coming closer. We're coming closer to us. It's going to go right over us. I'm going to keep it nosing it. Oh, it stopped. It won't let me nose it anymore. So oh, it's coming. Safety feature. Yeah, you're yeah. at about 34 meters and it won't let you go any lower. No, it's it's trying to. It's dipping. Yeah. Uh, and then it goes back up. Yeah. Safety it, feature. It's a safety feature. So here we go. So I'm, I'm trying to nose it as I'm turning too. It won't stall. So that's a good thing. Yeah. All right. So it's over there. I'm going to put it into a return to home, right? 
Now. Kazoom. Kazumi and it comes down. It's spinning around, orientation. It's funny the airspeed. Well, it's negative, which is actually true. Yeah. Ground speed is almost zero. Well, it seems pretty accurate for returning home because there's two trees that were nearby when I took off and it's uh, missing them totally and coming down right where it took off from. And I lost the cover on the back again. No way. I did. That's the second, oh. that's the second battery cover. Do you oh need stronger God. magnets? I have some. Oh my God. How many of these am I going to go through? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's it. If there's one thing you can fix, HEQ, fix those covers on the back because they just fly right off. So there's a cover someplace in this world, two of them. Well, these batteries are so large and this yeah. wire goes up in here. So it just fits over top. But I think this frame on this new model or whatever the frame is, maybe a little skinnier or something. Not possible. Or the batteries are bigger. I'm not sure. All right. So that's another thing you need to know. Uh, I have lost two of these covers that go on the back. They fit over the battery and everything else, but uh, I, they just fly off. I think the magnets are not strong enough or the cover is, is too tight uh, or there's not enough room for the cover to fit on. Anyways, that's two of them gone. I would suggest anybody who buys this, when you put your cover over the top, uh, maybe add some Velcro <laughs> and Velcro rate right to the battery so it's, it can't come off. I should have did that as well. All right, so that's pretty much all I could show you on the Swan Voyager. It's a pretty cool product. It's very reliable. I have no problems or no worries flying this. It flies very well. The GPS in it works really good. They've updated the GPS. So it's not like those previous models where it would flutter around and not be very accurate. There's a very modern GPS uh, unit in it. So that's why it's so perfect and comes right back to where you took off. It's very good for that. Flies great. No issues there. Very reassuring in flight. I have no concerns with it. The only thing, as I mentioned in this video or showed you, uh, they have to work on the vibration dampening in the camera right here. You can see there's some, but they have to add a bit more. So you get rid of the jello. They're going to add the uh, settings for the camera in future iterations and they're going to fix a pile of other stuff and I hope they fix the cover here. <laughs> Put stronger magnets or a different cover or something because that's two I've lost. Anyways, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Links to the Swan Voyager are below. Go check it out. If you have questions on this product, just post them below. I'll get back to you. I've flown all of these swans that HEQ makes, so I'm very knowledgeable about them and I can tell you everything about them. And with all that said, I say thanks for watching this video and I will catch you in a future video with many more product reviews. Until then, I say bye.